Hey everyone, this is May, you the creator of Fun and Draw. Guess what? I'm so excited to tell you that Fun and Draw has reached 100 million views. We did it together, everyone. For this special occasion, I'm going to show you how to draw and how to color step by step a super cute cake to celebrate. Let's get the party started. Okay, so first I'm going to take my ruler to help me with the straight lines. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line like that, just going across. So this is going to be the top part of the bottom layer of the cake. From this horizontal line, I'm going to show you how to draw the icing in an easy way. So I'm drawing a series of these small little curves that are going all the way along the bottom of that horizontal line. Okay, now that we have the icing done, let's draw the sides of the cake. So I'll take my ruler and let's draw a line going down right around there. I'm not going to make the cake too tall because I want this cake to look really cute. And another side. Now that we have the sides of the cake, I'm going to draw the bottom of the cake like this. I'm going to keep it round so the cake won't look too flat. And then I'll meet up with the little corner right here. Okay, so we have the bottom part of the cake. Let's go into the top layer. So again with the ruler, I'll draw a horizontal line, but this time it's going to be shorter because the top layer is going to be smaller than the bottom layer. And again, just like what we did before with the icing, let's draw icing layer like that like a wavy line and I'll take my ruler and let's draw the sides of the top layer of the cake so there's one side I'll go over here and draw the other side now Just like that. Okay, so once we have the basic shape of this cake, let's draw the super cute face. So I like to draw a little mouth like this. It's a happy mouth, and for fun, I'll make the tongue stick out. On either side, I'll draw these cheek curves. And on top of each cheek curve, I'll draw a big fun to draw eye with a curve going up and then another curve that's going right back down. I like to draw one more curve in the eye to make it the side of the eye. So this is going to be the side of the eye and it'll also be quite dark. So I'm going to shade it in. I think I'll make it a little bit thicker to make it stand out more. Okay, like that. Let's draw the other fun to draw eye shape. So I'm curving up and then I'm going to go right back down with third curve and the shading. Once we have these eye shapes, let's draw a big, cute pupil inside each eye. So I draw a big curve, and the eyes looking up towards the icing. To make the eye look shiny, let's add a big highlight. And lots of viewers have asked me how I shade my fun to draw eye. So this is how I would do it step by step. First. I'll draw a diagonal line under the highlight, like that. 
In this space, I'm going to shade it all nice and dark. The highlight's going to stay white right there. Now, I'm going to take my pen and I'm just going to draw three more lines. So I'm going to start here underneath this dark shape. I'll draw another diagonal line like that. I'm going to leave a space and the second line is going to be shorter than the first line. So I'll draw a little point there to start the second line and then the third line is going to be the shortest. So I'm going to draw it like that, just like that. So that's how I was shading my fun and draw eyes from dark to light. I'll do the same thing over here. So I have a big pupil, shiny highlight, Diagonal line, shade in that area, and then the three diagonal lines underneath. First one is the longest, second one is a little bit shorter, and the third one is the shortest. So there you go, that's how I was shading my fun and draw eyes. And once we have the super cute face done, let's go into nice little candy bits inside the cake. So I'm going to draw a few little circles in the layers. I've got four in here. And for fun, let's add some cute rosy cheeks. Okay, before we draw the candles, I'm going to draw a plate for this cake to rest on. So this is how I'm going to draw. I'm going to start here, near the bottom of the face there, and the plate is going to come around from behind the cake. It's going to curve right here, so it's bending along with the curve of the bottom of the cake. So I have this curve, I'm going to extend that curve, and basically I just want to follow that curve all the way around the cake. Now it's going to bend towards the back of the cake. So this curve is coming up now and then I'm going to make it go right into the back like that. So once we have the plate done, let's go into the candles. For this cake, I'm going to make the number 100 to celebrate Fun and Draw's 100 million views. First, I'll start with number 1. So I'm starting with a small curve, a little bit above this top layer. This small curve can extend like that. So right now, this kind of looks like a sideways letter L. For the top of the one, I'll draw a small little curve. And then I'm going to go all the way down, like that, into the cake. Okay, now I'm going to finish the number one. I'm curving into the one, and then let's go all the way down there. There we go. So I have the number one. I'm going to draw this zero right here. The last zero of 100 because I think this is a good way to help plan where the center of the candle is going to be. So I have this oval shape and to finish the zero let's just draw a smaller oval inside. There we go. And now we know to put this oval, the second oval, or the second zero, right in between. So we have the oval with another smaller oval to make it a zero. And of course let's draw the 
flames for the candles. So I drew a little teardrop shape above the one with a smaller shape inside to help it look more like a flame. Okay, I'll do the same thing on these other candles. So I have these three flames, but I want to make them look like they're glowing. They're really bright. A good way to do this is to draw a bunch of little lines like this all the way around the candles. So that's a good glow effect. All right, now I'm going to show you how to color. Many of you have been asking me, what can you use to color your fun to draw pictures? I think you can use anything you have at home right now, like pencil crayons, crayons, or markers. For this tutorial, I'm going to use markers like this, and I believe most of you have similar markers for school or for home. I'm also going to use markers like this. So it all depends on what you like. Okay, I'm going to put this away now so it's not in the way. And first, I like to color the main face of the cake with a bright color. So I'm going to choose yellow. I'm going to color the top layer first. And I'm just going to color the main shape. So not the icing. Or the little circular candy bits inside. So go ahead and fill this all up. Okay, so once we have the top layer colored, I'll use the same yellow to color in the bottom layer. I'll go across the face and I'll try not to color in the eyes or the tongue. But if you do go over the lines a little bit, or outside the lines, it's okay. You don't have to worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to color above the eyes now. I'm going around these candy bits and around the fun to draw eyes. Okay, now I'm getting pretty close to the outside of the cake, so I'm just going to color along the side of the cake. I think that helps me keep within the lines. And after I have the edge colored, then I'll color in the rest. Now I'm going to color along this side first, and that helps me keep the color within the lines. But if you have a little bit of color outside the lines, I don't think you need to worry about that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now once I have the edge colored, I'll go inside and color in the rest color around this fun to draw eye and then I'm coloring underneath the icing okay so once we have the bright yellow all colored I like to choose another bright color for the icing to make it look really yummy And similar to how I colored in the sides of the cake with the yellow, I'm going to color along this straight edge for the icing, like that. And then I'm going to go around and I'll color in the bottom curves. So 
basically I'm just gonna follow along the lines that I drew. And then once the edges are colored in, I can go ahead and fill in the inside. Okay, let's do the same thing for the bottom part. You know what, this icing reminds me of strawberries. Mmm, I love strawberry cake. What flavor of cake is your favorite? Please share in the comments below. Let's finish up the coloring of the icing. Okay, so once we have the icing colored, let's color in the fun to draw eyes. I chose a light purple to color in the pupils. So just color in these areas. And then for the rest of the face, let's choose some really bright colors for the rosy cheeks, and then these little candy bits, and the tongue. So I got pink cheeks here. Now I'm going to use red for the tongue to make it stand out and maybe another red candy bit. And then I'll go ahead and fill in these other little candies with all different sorts of colors. So here's purple. I think that makes the colors look more varied, like that. And then, some blue. For the plate, I'm going to choose light blue to color the plate. First, I'm going to go around the edge of the plate so basically I'm following the curve of the plate that we drew, like this, to help me keep the coloring within the lines. And then after that, I'll fill in the rest of the plate. Okay, now for these candles, I think I'm going to choose a really bright color. So let's get a red again. And I'll color in the one first, starting with this area of the one. I'll fill it in, and then I'll fill in the zeros. flames, let's add some orange. I'll use orange to color in just the top parts or the outer parts of the flames like that. I'm gonna leave the inner parts of the flames white to make it look like they're really hot. And to emphasize the glow of the candles, I'll also use the orange to go along these short lines we drew before. So I think that'll make the candles look brighter. I'm going to choose yellow again and I'm going to color around the orange lines that we just drew. And I'm going to go in between these lines and just fill it in with yellow. But it's just going to be a thin strip of yellow and I'll color it all the way around. So the yellow kind of looks like a really big oval around the candles. Okay, so it looks like this cute cake is ready for a party. 
Now let's invite some friends to help him celebrate. Let's draw the first friend right here. I'll start as a little curve and I'll turn that curve into a little oval on the side. Near the bottom, I like to add a tiny little triangular piece along with a nice wavy string for the cute balloon. Okay, let's make this balloon super happy with a cute little letter U for the mouth. And for the eyes, I'll make them look really cheerful and happy. So I drew an upside down letter U with a little eyelash at the end. And I'll do the same thing over here. followed by a little round highlight for a shiny look. Okay, for the next friend, I'll draw the same thing as before. So a round oval like that with a little triangular bit and a little string. This time I'm going to make the mouth open for a laughing look. So this balloon's having a great time. You can see the little tongue in there. And just like before, I'll draw some super happy eyes. And for fun, let's make her really cute girly balloon. So I'm going to draw a little bow on top. Highlight. Okay, now I'm going to color them in. So starting with the balloon I just drew, I chose pink and I'm going to color in the whole face except the highlight. I think we can use a little red for the bow to make it stand out. There. And let's try blue for this balloon. I'm proud of you Fun to Draw fans, all of you. Together we've done some pretty amazing things and more are coming. I've planned many more cute and easy Fun to Draw videos for the future. Make sure to keep subscribed, I've got a few new videos every week. Keep drawing everyone. There you go. Subscribe so you won't miss new fun videos every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.